with Makina. Wanted to just run a, we haven't filmed, I haven't filmed with these guys in a little while. Um, she's gotten uh, some opportunity here. We went to a grouse trial this last weekend. Um, saw some really interesting stuff. Had her with, had her in the woods the last couple weeks. Um, have been filming a little bit on my phone with some of our free running. She's doing really well. She's bumped a few birds. It's really starting to wake up, I think, from that perspective as a bird dog. But I've also noticed that with that, I think there's got to be some balance. And I've noticed her footwork, when I ask her to be a little precise with her footwork, it's been getting, it's not bad, but like you see it there, it's real choppy and I, I just, so one of the things I said to, the, to these guys was, let's film, I want to I want to do a session with her on heel. Her heel is very good and I'm going to show you how well it's going. My, the importance of good heel work to me is important for a lot of reasons, in and out of the field. And after watching this weekend with some of the dogs that I saw during this grouse trial, I think it even more it is even more important to have it, uh, the ability to connect with our dogs better. So I'm just going to be quiet and I just want to show you this session. Even if I have to narrate after it later, I will. That's it. That's all I want to do today. And my reasoning is the connection part. So leaving that leash, leaving the collar on is the first step I'm taking into healing her off lead. Because she does really well on lead. When I, I, I'm using uh, just like a regular slip lead a lot of times when I'm in the truck because it's easy to fold up in my pocket. When I put this on for training, I feel like my the effectiveness is a lot greater. It's just the way this thing feels on her, the ability for me to have really good feel on the lead itself, from a position standpoint, from an understanding of where all the components are, it's helping. And when I can go to this, by taking this off, she's still feeling that weight. She's off lead, but I don't know that she 100% understands it. So what I'm trying to get with her, and the reason I'm trying to get it, because I think it's just super important right now, not right now, but like in the end, is I'm trying to get this dog to 
be able to run really free and wild. And I say free and wild meaning like don't take anything away from its natural ability, which is made to run and cover lots of ground and search out birds. Not take that away, but figure out how to harness it a bit to do it with me. So like if I'm moving this way and I have to go this way, I want that energy to come with me as opposed to it just become so independent. So I'll explain more as the series goes on, but that is where I feel heel work is really important to me with retrievers because I have I do so much out of heel position. I need them to feel super comfortable in that pocket. I feel like when I'm working this dog in the field, by not putting that much pressure on her, I was able to move in without bumping her off. By being able to keep her in that pocket, let's say, for my retriever it's right here, for her it might be 120 yards out, that might be her pocket. But by having her have the feel with me, I think it's going to be really valuable in the end. I don't know that I can get it out there if I can't get it right here. And that's where her footwork today, I, I slowed my pace down. I noticed earlier today when she was sloppy on her turn, I was pretty fast paced. She got real choppy, kind of like there, throwing her body around a little bit. I want her to be smooth like that. So slowing down. I think going to this leash and collar combo again helps. And I want to I want to work on some precision with her in certain situations. This is one of those times. And then for every time I do this, I I balance it. This morning we walked for about 35 minutes. Free cat, just her by herself, just letting her work this cover. And there were times when she would get out 50, 60 yards. It's about as far as she goes right now. And I'm just fine with it. I know it's gonna grow. I know it's gonna keep getting bigger because a couple weeks ago it was 35, 40 yards. So every time we do it, I think every bird she finds, every snipe she points, which she's pointed a few in the last week. And I shouldn't say she points them. She'll flush them on accident and point them after. But it's starting to make sense. It's starting to make sense. This is, I just want, I think I gotta do a better job of like, I want you to see these little in-between steps as well. So, quick session. That's what we wanted to accomplish out of it, and we're done. Good. The audio, right? I'm filming. I just think you can really see the confidence changing in her body and her tail. And you know, there were a lot of times where this was this would get to be a little too much, and now she's just handling it like it's it's just fine. And there's that's that's what I'm looking for continue to build it and develop it and push it just far enough that she gets a little uncomfortable and then make it so that it becomes comfortable and then we'll go a little further. So I think I'm real happy with where we're going with it.